Subhanallah. You're telling me you don't pray? You don't pray? Well, I want to pray. Well, what's stopping you? I think I'm too bad. No, the most loving has made you feel that you need to pray. So that's why you must start somewhere. Some say, well, I don't have the courage to start with all five. Well, you need to admit that your duty is all five, but you started with one. You then went on to two. You then went on to three until you continued in such a way that you developed every day. You were walking closer and closer to heaven, to paradise. In the same way you were getting closer to your grave, you also became closer to Jannatul Firdaus. You also became closer to the paradise. Subhanallah. So you are heading in the right direction. And the most merciful, the most loving, the most wise, he says to us through the blessed lips of the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَّاتِ وَإِنَّمَا لِكُلِّ مْرِئِمْ مَا نَوَى Every action will be judged by its intention. And for every person, will be that which he or she has intended. Your intentions need to be strong. They need to be powerful. They need to be focused. They need to understand, or you need to understand that these intentions need to be dedicated to the Almighty. I may not be a perfect being. I'm never going to be perfect in this world, but I'm going to try my best to get as close to Allah as I can. Every day, I'm improving. And this is why when you love someone, you don't want to harm them. You don't want to disrespect them. But more than that, you don't want to displease them. So when you love Allah truly, you will not want to displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And sometimes what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does, He keeps us in a negative situation so that we get closer and closer and closer to Him. You know, many people... They start praying after they've had a problem. I said this a little bit earlier in my previous talk, but I'm repeating it. People start praying when they have a problem. Wasn't that problem a blessing from Allah? It made them a better person. It made them get closer to Allah. So don't think it was the punishment of Allah that you suffered a disease or you went through an economic hardship or you went through a marital problem or something of that nature. If it brought you closer to Allah, then Allah is the most wise. He knows why you were inflicted with that. He knows it. You are now so close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that one of the narrations speaks about sickness and speaks about how the person who bore patience over the sickness that he or she had in his or her life, later on in the akhirah, when they get to see the reward of that particular patience that they bore, they will say, had I been sick for my entire life, I would have got an even higher status. Oh Allah, why didn't you keep me sick a little bit longer? Allahu Akbar. Yet in this world, you know what we say? We cannot bear one minute of sickness. Even if your throat is scratching you inside as you swallow, you get irritated. Everyone would, wouldn't they? But the patience that you bear, that is closeness to Allah.